Problem washing other people shine. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna repeat it. I need to drink it up. Y'all have a problem washing each other shine. God blesses with talents and gifts and gifts. So we can shine for him, for his glory. And I, I know that growing up, well, this, this is what I had to do with every day, especially when I was at school. That's what you want to call <laughs> Okay, when you're in the class with 15 to 30 people, the word humility rings the bell, man. If, if you have a conscience and a heart for another person. Humility should be real clear. Then those you got demon, trauma, a messed up past. Now we all mix in the same class. Angels and demons, right? But only a wise person know not to play favoritism with anybody. Only a wise person know not to play favoritism with anybody. I learned that real young at an early age. I, I, I kept getting caught up in it. Like, I would be by myself, man, in my bed. Then maybe two, three people might come up on like, man, come on, man, join us, man. come play with us or whatever. Man. It'd be basketball, any kind of sport. They just know I was minding my business, dog, talking to the Lord. Like, why why you got me here? Nothing I know. Here you go. That's why you here. Uh, they must need some help. All right, so. And then when you get to know the people, you know this one thing, out of all, these, all that getting to know, meeting and greeting and seeing what's what, I, 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 I'm I very humble, bro. I don't expect nothing, okay? I pray before I expect anything. I pray first before I expect anything, okay? But I notice when it's either two, three or more people together trying to hang with me, they do this one thing that, that that I can't be associated with after a while, after and they do that. They, they try to make me pick one over the other. What the fuck I look like, bro? Like, see, if you like me, you want to put, put me in that position. Right? You just love me for me. Right? You, you accepting everybody for who they are. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like if I love you and you know I do, you know I'ma correct you when you want, when you want, right? Cause that's how much I love you. If they tell you don't do that, that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? People who spoil you, they don't love you. Dog. They want to see you spoil rotten so they can take you for granted, okay? And destroy you in front of the eyes of God, just because they hurt and going through their trauma themselves, okay? Hurt people, hurt people, yeah, but behind that hurt people is 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 past trauma. Innocence snatch, okay? Cause before the person became a demon, they they that they innocence was snatched, okay? So you can't play favoritism with hurt people, right? They hurt. Right? So yeah, back to that story. I'm minding my business. A group of people roll up on you. Um, like, hey, the one come join us, I do that. 
Well, I'm not signing for long since y'all can't get along. I need my peace. I need, I need it. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Cause y'all not about to take it and abuse it. Because right? y'all don't know how to be one to get right? One got to be over that. I don't have no ego. Right? God is my witness. I don't have no ego. That is the only reason why I'm able to be humble. Right? Because I don't have no ego. See, if I had an ego, I couldn't be humble. You can't have both. Nah, it's either one or the other. Like I did. And, and people think I'm stupid. So so I give them that stupidity. Since you think I'm stupid. But nothing I know, they be like, I shouldn't have treated you like that. I was like, well, I understand. You don't know nothing about it, man. That's why I don't have no ego. Nah, you only going to do what you know. You feel me? All right, but. Now we going to the the whole message for this video is about uh, positioning yourself to help other people shine. And the story goes, okay, God told me to get online and I'm going to send you a girl to talk to. Now, mind you, this is in like 2009 after I just I got put out of a house for defending myself against Sodom and Gomorrah. Just put it like that. Hey, I'm the only straight man in that motherfucker. Let's just say they were trying wrong move. Right? To the point where my father had to come and get me out of that. Because they was, what? The woman I was with was like 10 years older than me. But she had made a move and let some Sodom and Gomorrah's in me. I wasn't having that, but I left. I left. I cursed her out and left. All right, but after I left her, two months later, God said, I need your help with this. All right, so a young girl popped up, sent me a message after she seen my picture, photo, or profile over there. Now, mind you, this is blackplanet.com. I don't know if y'all recognize that or whatever, but blackplanet.com. I had a picture where I had my dress. When I was, uh, the picture was, I took, I was living in 21st Street in Northeast, like down the street from Golly Dad University, or Ben and Road, 21st Street near Ben and Road. So, so she, she liked that picture or whatever and sent me a, a, a message. Now, mind you, when I got the message, I was looking at other messages. I, I, I was like, wow, man. Wow, man. And so I thought I, I, I saw the profiles on the left side before I looked at the uh, pre-message next to the profile. Now, I went up on this picture that had looked like one of my girl cousins. Like, man, let me click on it and find out. Girl, what is you doing? Because she look like um, she don't belong, on it. Like, younger than 18. Yeah, hey, get your ass off the perfect. Get your ass off the dating site, please. Hey, I ain't going to have to pray for you. Man. Knowing what you doing on the dating site, you don't need to be on here. Not while I'm on here. You know what I'm saying? My little girl catch me. So. I thought it was her. It was so anyway, the girl I end up, who look like her, I end up marrying her, okay? I take no shame in that. I would have did it again. Why? Because God showed me a vision. You don't play favoritism with hurt people, right? Because at the right time, that hurt person is going to heal and take care of you. At the right time, on God time, okay? Trust me on this, because I've watched it a lot, right? so, so she said she wanted to meet me or whatever in the in the message. So I messaged her back. I laid it out. I, I, man, I promise y'all, I laid it out. Look, I'm like, look, I cannot approach you without telling you that I am a believer of Jesus Christ, God the Father and the Holy Spirit. 
I, I said I thought it was that because I don't approach no women without God first. Eve and Adam committing sin. That's why. Eh? I don't want to. I don't want to add to that. Mm? I want to do better than than that. You feel me? So now. In that same message, she admitted she's she is a mother. Okay, with a child, and she showed me her child picture. Okay, man, the child she showed me her son, the biggest smile ever, bro. I'm like, this man going through a lot, but he got the biggest smile ever. Like you can't, you can't ignore, deny that. Like the Lord was like, yeah, you see what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, but what you need me to do, Lord? Like, what, what you, it's already, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no fight. I'm like, what? You mean you ain't got no fight? Hmm? With that big smile, you ain't got mine, so. So I was like, Lord, you ain't even got to say no more. It's just, you give me the open door, I go, I go from there, you know? So he showed me the vision, okay? He told me, look, if you don't do this, this family gonna go to hell quick. I'm like, dang, they they not bad. They be like, yeah, I'm like, I don't, I, I don't judge people, right? I position myself to get them out of that. Nobody is built for judgment, bro. <laughs> Nobody is not made for guilt. It's made for love, nothing less. Man. That's what holy is. Forever in life. So, so when God was, you know, pre-positioning me, you know, just walk through there, be the man. And I did that. I walked in there. <laughs> she gave me her number to go meet her. And she was right down the street from where my people was at, living at the time. So, she opened the door and I was like, uh, Come on in. So I go in there. I just say like five, six females. And then I went into her son. Her son. The first thing he did was walk up on me, right? And handed me this uh the blue hot wheel car. I will never forget that. With the biggest smile in the world. He like, he. That was his first word to me. <laughs> Sound like sound like karate shop sounds, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was smiling. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, thank you, man. And I played with it a little bit, and gave it back to him. But I noticed he had a runny nose, eyes was yellow, and she ended up telling me he got an ear infection. And I'm in my head like, you got uh, tissue or something. She said, yeah, you handed it to him. So I said, come here, man, and blow your nose, right? Everybody in the house look like they, they lost. They lost their mind, because um, I'm doing what they were supposed to be doing before I got up in it. You feel me? Like, take care of your son. Right? Like, he really loved you with that big ass smile, smiling like that. All right? <laughs> Take care of So, man, that woke me up. That was, that was the key to God's vision for me to, to take care of that bird. You know? No matter how long the mother is and the women are, me doing the first part was going to wake up the rest of the part. You feel me? So I just want y'all to know if, if, if I'd have did what y'all did, play favoritism with people because you don't like the look of their situation or how they look, I, I would have never got blessed, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not I'm not like that, boy. I don't judge people, boy. I ask God to blind me before I judge anybody, man. What I do is guard my heart with all diligence, like the scriptures say. Okay? That way, you won't be in the position to be playing favoritism. You just be discerning from the Holy Spirit what's good and what's not. How to correct what's not good and make it good. 
according to his paper, his riches and glory. Amen. So, we built the family on uh, my heart of not believing in playing favoritism. And she watched me do that. Okay? I didn't play favoritism with her son. I didn't play favoritism with her daughter. I didn't play favoritism with the second dude. Nor the second son. I didn't play favoritism with none of them. Okay, I told all of them, y'all have an opportunity to learn and do the same thing at the same time. It's about being selfish and sharing it together. You know what I'm saying? I was teaching togetherness. I don't care how old you are. You can get a group of people together. Nobody's going to lack anything. But you got to be together in Christ. That means love. Ain't got shit to do with religion. Okay, it's, it's love. True religion is taking care of orphans and widows, providing what they need so they don't become wither or violent for, for, for being neglected and abandoned when they lose their loved ones or get shipped away from their, their loved ones. Like, being an orphan is not easy, I mean. You got to try to find an identity. That, nah, don't do when, when you know Christ, you don't need an identity. Christ is your identity with Jesus Christ. But when you out in the world lost and going through trauma, why, you can't be playing mental games with people, well, And that's what's going on. Which is why I found myself solo a lot of times with no friends. Because they always did that move where they made me pick one over the other. And God told me, don't do not do that. I don't have to do that. And he knew my heart. So he positioned me to just say, hey, we all do it together as one. Nobody going to lose. But you know how Decepticons and demons be deceiving as you. You know, they pretend like they hear you and do another thing. So all we can do is pray for them and move on. So But I dealt I dealt with her, the one I made, out of out of love, okay? It wasn't out of hatred. It wasn't out of favoritism. Because God showed me what she was going to. Just by me being that too, nah, the envy and the jealousy. And I'm like, why is your own family killing the very thing they need help with? You. You know what I'm saying? Her. Like, they need a her. And all I was doing was strengthening her, encouraging her to be the best she can be. You know what I mean? That's it. Mm? But I wasn't getting that reciprocation. I was getting my energy drained out. You know, like, once you drain my energy out, I do not need to be a man. Because I'm not used to that. I'm used to having and keep going. And she, she, mm, think if she's sneaking, I'm like, look, do she not know you told me what she was going to do? And if I tell her, she's going to have a heart attack. He like, right, so don't tell her. Just just be unconditional. Like, I'm like, all right. It shit hurt, look, look, Jesus. It shit hurt. Mm. He like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. I'm like, man. <laughs> Please, because I need your strength, mental strength too, and to, to, to ignore the ugly eyed demon I see next to her when she comes near me talking about love, man. I'm like, man. Here and there, I gave her hints and clues. I'm not a stupid ass nigga, but she wasn't listening. She wasn't paying attention. She thought she was big and bad. I'm like, next thing I know, and got to the point where the test of infidelity was um was thrown out. It was no more no more room for her to keep going and for me to keep staying with her while we were married. I'm not gonna lie. Two months into the marriage, I got locked up. Two months and ten of marriage, they got locked up. Okay? Like, we got married in January. 
My birthday month, March, I'm locked up. At the end of that month, I'm locked up. <laughs> it's for a day with still, and that day was unnecessary. And that, that, that shit was unnecessary. But then again, it was because it showed my true colors and it showed her. My true colors was me being unconditional love. Not playing favoritism with hurt people. Her true colors was she don't give a fuck how hurt she is. She gonna, she gonna take it out on me because she's hurt. You feel me? She don't know nobody. And so no matter how much I was teaching her, her family kept influencing her to, to destroy me. You know what I mean? So, some people just don't know nobody, bro. Like, and they think what they doing is all there is, you know? Why you think that's a happiness? On top of a happiness? On top of, you just, you just stuck on the surface as this earth. You not, you not thinking clearly if that's all you think there is. Yeah, and that thing come. So my advice to anybody, don't judge nobody unless you ready to be judged. Right? Real talk. And don't pick, don't pick or play favoritism with your children. <laughs> that, that, that's why we got violence now, playing favoritism with siblings. Picking one child as a favorite or the other. Y'all evil as fuck. That was a setup for hell in your house. Y'all evil as shit, man. Oh, this time about it in the rest. Well, who the fuck do that? Where are they? Well, shall I get the point? I'm, I'm not the one to be picking them. No, man. Everybody can get where they need to go. According to God, riches and glory, together in Christ. Division is, is corruption, man. Togetherness is peace. Cookie. One love and peace. Man. God is good all the time. Glory be to God. I pray y'all have a blessed night, morning, day, wherever you at on this whole earth. Repent. Seek Christ. Seek the Father. Ask Him for wisdom and knowledge. So you can get up and be led in the light, in the midst of darkness. Peace along the way. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. One love and peace. Love y'all.